kids. I'm Susan, Fitness from the Pro. Thanks for joining me today. Go ahead and grab a couple of water bottles if you don't have any weights because we're going to use them for some strength and we're also going to use them for some balance as well. So grab a sturdy chair and make sure you have some water in case you could always drink your water from the water bottle if you wish to. But go ahead and have a seat and I want you to sit up nice and tall. You have your water bottles and you're going to place one on each thigh. Pull that belly button into the spine. Now we're going to start with our left leg, our right leg, and I'm going to just turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. So you're sitting forward in your chair. Go ahead, extend that right leg. Sitting up nice and tall, that right toe points up. The water bottle is right on my right thigh. I'm going to lift the leg and lower, but I'm not touching the floor. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Watch that you're not bending that knee and lower. We're only doing four, this is our fourth one. Now, I want you to turn that same right leg, that right toe, out to the right. And we're lifting and lowering. Sitting up tall and lower. Lift and lower. One more here, good, only four of them. Now turn that same right leg and again, we are not bending that knee. Here we go, we're gonna lift and lower. That right toe is turned to the left. We're working the outer part of that thigh. Give me two more here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Ooh. Bend that knee. Place that right foot on the floor. You should have felt a little love right here on the top of that right thigh. Now let's take it on the left leg now. So I'm turning to the side, but you stay facing me. Extend that left leg. My weight my water bottle or your dumbbell is going to be right here on that left thigh. My left toe points up. Go ahead and lift and lower. Watch that you're just using your quad muscles. We're not going like this, okay? Just that leg. Now turn that left toe out to the left. Here we're working more of that inner thigh, keeping your leg straight. Don't bend your knee. That weight is still on that thigh. Lift and lower. Now turn that left toe to the right, and now we're working more of the outer thigh. Just go ahead, lift and lower. Give me a couple more here, and lower. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Go ahead, bend that leg, place that foot on the floor. Now, we're moving on to some squats. So, I'm gonna turn sideways. My legs are gonna be in front. Your option is whether you wanna use the water bottle or not, but we are gonna be working our front, uh, the front of our shoulder, shoulders if we use the water bottle. So let me just show you without the water bottle. Your legs are hip width apart. You're sitting up nice and tall. I'd like if you crossed your arms, but I don't want you to hold on to the chair. If you can, try not to push into uh, with your hands. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, Go ahead, push into those heels as you stand. Now shift the weight to the heels, push those hips back, tap, push into the heels and stand. I don't know if you noticed, but I have my toes lifted. All the weights in my heels, sit back, tap, and stand. That belly button is pulled into the spine. Sit back, we need to get out of our chairs. When we're watching telly or when you're watching a wonderful video like this, and stand. Okay, that's option one. Now go ahead and grab those weights or your water bottles. We're gonna have those water bottles right by our side. Pull your belly button in. Once again, shift the weight to those heels. Sit back, push those hips back. Sit back, stand, and raise those arms out to the front. Lower, sit back, stand, raise those arms. Now I only want you to raise those arms shoulder height. I don't want you to bring them all the way up here, okay? Arms by your side, push those hips back. Sit back, stand, and raise. That belly button is engaged, sit back, bend those knees, keep those knees safely behind your toes. Push those hips back, all the weights in the heels. Push through the heels as you stand and lift those arms. We've got two more. The weights in the heels, tap down, 
and stand. One more for me, you've got this. Push those hips back, bend those knees, sit back and stand. Now you can just hold it here and raise those arms. Keeping that core active, that belly button's pulled into the spine. Just give me two more. And last one here, good. All right, I'm gonna put my water bottles off to the side, but I'll give you an option if you, if you want. I'm gonna keep my water bottles right here on my chair. We're gonna go on and work some inner thigh work. And I'm incorporating a little bit of balance here, okay? So what I would like to see you do, and you can always stand behind your chair. You can stand behind your chair. That's why the chair is, is here for your support. And use it anytime you need to. Open up those legs wide, all right? And I, you can see that my toes are turned out to the side. Belly button is pulled into the spine. We're standing up nice and tall. You can keep your hands on your waist, or if you need to, grab onto that chair. We're gonna bend both knees, all the way to the heels, and stand up nice and tall. Bend both knees, keep that chest lifted, push through those heels as we stand. Now you may feel some love in those inner thighs, and that's good, that's where we wanna feel it. That's exactly where we wanna feel it. Now, a couple of things to be mindful for, or mindful of. I do not want to see this. This is what I see sometimes, and it's so bad for your knees, kids. This is what I see. Oh my God, it even hurts my knees to do that. So, push those hips back, bend those knees, and stand tall. Hips are back and bend. Nobody says you have to go all the way down. If it's here, you're fine. Just don't be, just don't be here, okay? Now, here's where the balance challenge comes in. Oh, here's where the balance challenge comes in. Standing tall, hold on. Now that we have our plie nice and good form with it, all the weight goes in those heels and those knees stay directly above the ankles. Now hold it here. Go ahead, lift that right heel. We're gonna lift it three times, here we go. Here's three, two, one, and hold. Tiny little pulse, eight, seven. Weight's in this left heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower that right heel. Go ahead and come on up. Ooh, feel the love. Shake those legs out, good. Remember your option here, hold on to the chair. Go ahead and bend both of those knees, all the weights in the heels, except this time we're gonna lift that left heel. Three, two, one, all the weights in that right heel. Give me a little pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower that left heel. Come all the way up. Ooh, feel the love. Nice job. Now, adding on. Only do this if you feel comfortable with it. Your shoulders are back and really engage those abdominals. When you pull that belly button into the spine, not only does it support your low back, but that's where your stability comes from. All right, so let's go ahead and plie. Lift that right heel. Can you lift that left heel at the same time? If you can't, just keep that right heel lifted. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Put that heel down, go ahead and stand up. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing on the left. Go ahead and plie, here's your balance challenge. Lift that left heel. Now, if you wanna lift that right heel, go ahead. Here's your balance. Pull the belly button in, hold it for five, Four, three, two, one. Lower the heel, come all the way up. Now I'm really gonna challenge you guys. Go ahead and plie. Feel free to hold on to that chair. Lift right heel, lift left heel. Hold it here, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay on those toes, come up, come up. Nice and slow, nice and slow on the toes, hold it here. Hold those arms out to the side, maybe. Five, four, three, two, 
one, lower those heels, lower those arms. Go ahead and heel toe those legs together. All right, now grab those water bottles. We're gonna do some bicep curls and we're gonna tap that right heel and left toe. Right heel, left toe. Right heel, left toe. Turn those palms to face forward. Curl and lower. Right heel and curl, left toe. Right heel and curl, left toe. We're shifting that weight from leg to leg. Give me four more. Four and curl. Here's three and lower. And two and lower. Last time and lower. Fabulous job. Very nice. All right, so now we had our palms facing forward. This time those palms are gonna face the outer thigh of your body. That left leg is gonna be in front. Once again, pulling that belly button into the spine. Left foot in front, right foot behind you. Now we're gonna stay with that curl, but the left heel and right toe. Left heel and curl. Left heel and curl. Now you're squeezing the bicep, left heel, right tap, left heel, right tap. Give me two more, curl, last time, curl, nice job. Roll those shoulders back and down. Alrighty, more balance for you kids. You're gonna use one weight, put that weight down, or put that one water bottle down. Right hand. So I suggest you get on the right side of your chair and we'll have that right heel against that left big toe. Now just go ahead and stand here and see how that feels. Maybe bring the chair over here, just stand how it feels. That right heel is against the big, big toe. It's not here, it's here. Belly button's pulled into the spine, shoulders are back. We're standing up nice and tall. Good. So we're kind of like shifting the weight from leg to leg. The belly button's engaged. Holding it here. Good. Now stay there. Go ahead and grab that weight. Right heel is still against that left big toe. Right heel against my left big toe. I'm holding on to the chair. This is my right arm. It's up. Here I can hold on to this little peg. Okay. And then I'm gonna bend my elbow and extend the arm. Right heel. Bend. Now my palm is facing forward. Bend and extend. Bend, exhale and extend. Okay? You're keeping the whole shoulder still. The shoulder's not moving. Just that elbow bends and extend. Give me three more here. Here's three. And extend. And two. And extend. Last one. And extend. And lower that arm. And relax. Alrighty. Guess what, kids? You got it. It's the other side. Alrighty, so let's get that left heel against that right big toe. So now it's the left heel against the right big toe. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. If you're like this, of course you're going to be all wobbly. Belly button pulled in, standing tall, shoulders back, shoulders just above those hips. Those toes are facing forward. You're looking fabulous. All right, go ahead and grab that weight. I had the weight in my right hand. Now I'm going to take it in my left hand. If you need to, get onto the left side of your chair. That left heel is against that right big toe. That left arm is up. The palm is facing forward. Pull that belly button in. Go ahead and bend that elbow and extend. Bend and straighten, squeezing this muscle right here. And extend. Inhale here, exhale and extend. We've got four more here, here's four. And extend, and two, and extend, and three, 
exhale, whoops, I guess this is the last one, and extend, and lower that arm, and very nice, go ahead and shake everything out. Grab your other water bottle, we've got a couple more exercises, go ahead and have a seat. Now I want you to sit a little bit forward in your chair, okay, we're not all the way back against the chair, you're going to use your water bottles. Now I want you to, I want you to hinge from the hip. So everything from the crown of my head to my tailbone is all in alignment. I'm holding my water bottles, my palms are facing behind me. I'm not tucking my chin in and I'm not looking up. I want you to keep that head and neck in alignment with the spine. So you're gonna bring those elbows up and out, in and lower. Looks like this. Up, out, in, and lower. Pull the belly button to the spine. Out, in, and lower. When you're lifting, squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. Good for the posture here. Give me three more. Up, out, in, and lower. Abs engaged. Up, out, the palms are facing behind you the entire time. Last time here, up, out, in, and lower. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Put one weight down, one water bottle down. Sitting forward in your chair, I guess I'll, we'll finish up with some abdom abdominal work. So I want you to hold the weight right here on your collar, at your collarbone, okay? You're sitting forward in your chair. Pull the belly button into the spine. Hold on to that weight. Inhale here. Lean almost like you're gonna touch that chair. Pull the belly button in. Exhale, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, lean back. Exhale. Now we're not doing this. This is nothing for those abs, okay? You wanna use those muscles in your abdominals. Sitting up tall, inhale, nice flat back. Inhale here, exhale, pull the belly button tighter as we sit up tall. Inhale, lean back, relax those shoulders. Exhale. Give me three more here, guys, and you're almost done. Inhale, exhale. Watch your posture, inhale, exhale. Last time for me, stay strong. Inhale, and exhale. Ooh, go ahead and put that weight down. What a nice job, what a fabulous job. All right, let's just stretch everything out. Grab onto the back of the chair. Roll those shoulders back and down, inhaling here. As you exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Push that chest forward, chin to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Opening up across the chest, breathing into that. And go ahead and release that. Now, what I'd like you to do is hinge forward, clasp those hands behind your thighs, underneath those thighs, okay? Now, keep your hands clasped. Pull that belly button into the spine as we inhale. Inhale here. Pull up away from those legs. Keep the hands clasped. Tuck that chin in. Round out those shoulders. Push those hips forward. Stretching out across the upper back. Keeping those hands clasped. Breathing into that stretch. Nice job. Go ahead and release those hands. Sitting up nice and tall. Bringing those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale and roll those shoulders back down. Here's one of my very favorite stretches. Go ahead and take that right leg and you can either cross it above the left ankle or above the left knee. Pulling that belly button in, sitting up nice and tall. If you want a deeper stretch, you can flex this right foot. Push that right heel toward the left. Inhale, lengthen the posture. As you exhale, reach those fingertips forward, hinging forward. Keeping the head above the heart. Let's see here, it looks like this. Maybe like this here. Hinging forward, 
breathing into that you'll feel a real nice yummy stretch on the right outer hip area and that's where really where i want you to feel it relaxing those shoulders inhale here use those abs and lift exhale lower those hands uncross that right leg lift that left leg go ahead and cross it above the right ankle or above the left knee pulling that belly button into the spine inhale and lengthen exhale reach it forward push through that left heel so you feel a good stretch in this outer left thigh doing what you can here breathing into that relaxing your shoulders keep reaching through the crown of the head inhale engage those abdominals and lift exhale and lower uncross that leg legs are hip width apart one more thing for you i'm going to step back so you can see me all righty feet are flat on the floor inhale reach those arms up exhale reach those arms back inhale reach those arms forward push into the heels stand up without assistance now come up onto those tippy toes that belly button is engaged shoulders away from the ears bring those palms together as you exhale slowly lower those hands close to the heart more balance come back down on those heels and i want to thank you for joining me today don't forget to subscribe to lwca fitness on youtube and we'll see you next time